what is my focus here? Oh, what an ugly color grade. <laughs> oh my God. We all start from somewhere, right? I assume if you watch old projects or videos of yours, you get a little disgusted with yourself. I know I do. And today you're about to witness that disgust. This is the first travel film that I ever created when I moved to Jaco, Costa Rica. So it's about this small town in Costa Rica. This was maybe seven or eight years ago, and it was with a Canon T5i, which is not mirrorless. It doesn't shoot 4K, only 1080p. I don't think the slow motion is even HD, is even 1080. So <laughs> get ready. All right. So it Already, I start off the video with better with sound. Clearly I had Facebook in mind. This video, I ended up promoting to the general area in Costa Rica. And just from promoting this on Facebook, I did get lots of business shooting videos for different companies and stuff. So it, it worked out, whatever I was trying to do, it worked out well. Uh, but it's interesting that I'd started with this, clearly knowing that people on Facebook will watch a video without sound. And I think I put effort into the sound design, I don't know. All right, enough talk, let's watch. Nice animation in big, small. A little suck back there. Oh, look at that shot. <laughs> look at that. Look at this like film burn, gross film burn. Look at this shot. What is, what is my focus here? My focus is this, this supermarket. And what is this grade? It's like, it's incredibly dark. It's dismal. I think what I was trying to portray is early, early morning, but gross. Yeah, so we have nature. I wanted it to feel like Hako is surrounded in nature, because it is. Look at that shot too, just gross. That's not bad. I have the birds, <laughs> the little speed ramp. Another crappy speed ramp. I should have added some uh, some motion here, some type of motion blur to make it seem a little bit better, but my house was right over, I think right over here. It's a very tiny town. I think it's a town of like nine to 10,000. Perhaps it's grown since I lived there, but yeah, I think this shot was with the Mavic 1. Okay, waiting for the buildup. Look at that gross shot. Oh, what an ugly color grade. I was trying to go for a teal and orange, but it just looks bad. Sheesh. Oh, here's the riser. Whoa, back to color. <laughs> Better color. All right, that's kind of a little match cut there. Let me go back real quick. All right, so we have the buildup of the song, we have the riser increasing, some type of shake transition. So we have the shot of these, what I made the sound effect as, which was a seagull, but they're not seagulls. But the sound effect is a seagull. I have a, another seagull flying in, and I made sure to animate the sound, so the sound comes from the right headphone to the left. It should have been more center. Another little transition of a, I don't know why, a person riding the bike backwards. All right, that's a nice little match cut, of motion match cut of everyone moving forward in their daily life. Let me put this down here. <laughs> oh my God, just me shooting a basketball. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. Okay. Skateboard. Oh, kid is getting it. Kid's riding dirty. All right, here's me. Do I make the shot? Of course I do. I'm not going to put a shot into me missing it. Oh, oh, look at the form. That's a local. That's a Costa Rican local. It's why I included it. All right. This is actually, I think, a good sequence. I got him to agree to me filming him make a surfboard, right? Match cut of someone waxing his surfboard. All right. Not bad. 
Not, I mean, a pretty crappy color grade and stuff there, but at least we have a sequence. We have a sequence of starting, you know, starting day, daily life. He goes to work, is making a surfboard, which surfing is big in Costa Rica and especially in Hako. Waxing. So we have now the surfboard's been made, the process. Someone out is going out and using it. This is my buddy. And so I had took drone shots of people riding these waves. Okay, we have another match cut here. So the wave is about to crash. I mean, just a horrendous shot choice. I mean, if anything, I don't know if it was just a bad shot. I should have waited till the wave crashed a little bit more or tried to center the wave. But anyways, I speed ramped. And I didn't speed ramp. <laughs> I speed ramped to this part maybe and then that's slow motion. That's speed ramp. Okay, we have food being made. Just the worst speed ramps too. Just horrendous. Speed ramps do well when it's a continuous motion and when it's smooth. Because this is, I think, mostly handheld, the speed ramps don't look good because it's just sh shaky from one shot to the next. Oh, that one specifically. Okay, shot of the people, restaurants, quick cuts. Oh, look at the crappy hyperlapse. Oh, Luma fade. <laughs> All right, let's go back and break this down real quick. All right, so we have these starting to, the music is starting to build. We have the quick pace, um, the quick shots of these different restaurants. And then uh, this was during a parade. I think I had learned to do masking transitions then. I don't I'm not sure. Anyways, we got the masking transition from the flag, which looks okay, doesn't look bad. And the, we have these pretty crappy hyperlapses showing some of the buildings. Just a horrendous uh, Luma Fade transition, but that was popular back then in the days of prime Sam Colder. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. All right. Boom, zoom in, zoom out. Many zoom ins and zoom outs of that. Those are different shots too, I believe. So I had one shot, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I just digitally cropped in. In, out, pushed in. Okay, this is pretty good because you have a connection between the audio the music playing the drums, and it's showing visuals of someone playing drums, and it happens to be a parade in Costa Rica. So that matches out really well, and I like the different shot choices that I made here. We have a lot of close-ups. It's handheld. It makes you feel like you're in, in the parade. You're with the crowd. Then we have a wide, so you know you can see a better view of who's doing the action. Okay, you kind of see those are flags. <laughs> kind of, not really. Close-ups. Zoom in, zoom out, a lot of whooshes. There's a crappy masking transition there. Zoom in. Right here, here's the masking transition. Why did I make it so slow? Oh, I didn't, it's this next shot. So I masked out everything to the right of him here. So we have this, uh, this right side showing up. And then it, uh, it, it basically cuts out everything to the right side of him, shows the shot underneath, which is this one. In retrospect, I should have shown a wide shot of whoever is wearing this dress. It's always good to get a full scene of whatever you're shooting. So if you have a shot of, for example, a person dancing in a parade in a dress like this, you, you start, start with that wide shot. If you have a wide lens on your camera, if you have a longer focal length, then get this shot first and then get what would be the beginning and the end. So you can start off with that wide of them, perhaps getting ready or whatever. Then you have that close up of them doing the action, perhaps a shot of their face, perhaps a shot, a reaction shot of people looking at the parade. Even if they're not looking at this person in the dress, you still have a a reaction shot of them. So it appears like they are reacting to this specific person wearing the dress. And then you have some type of end, end shot. So the end shot could be the same thing, them dancing, and then some type of moving the camera so you can connect that with another shot. Or perhaps they maybe stop dancing a little bit and that's the end to the sequence. But I didn't do that here because partly I just didn't know. 
Okay, so I do like that I matched the music well with a lot of these transitions. So when there were the whooshes, there was it was always on some type of it was always on some type of hit or on um, I'm sorry, some type of beat and uh, stuff like that. So I did that well. Sound design is okay. Very cheesy though. <laughs> suck backs, a lot of whooshes, and it's extremely noticeable. In retrospect, I should have included more direct sound effects and ambient sound effects so they feel like they're more in the scene as opposed to watching some video that has a lot of whooshes and stuff. It feels less immersive because it's mainly those transition type sound effects. And man, did I digitally zoom in, digitally crop in here way too much. I also, this wasn't in focus. I don't think the Canon T5i had good autofocus, so I'm manually focusing these shots. Nevertheless, that's still pretty bad. And boom, another Luma fade. Decent drone shot. I think the horizon is off center, which bugs me now. So we have, it's a little lopsided. I should have fixed that in post. Not the, just a pretty, I mean, no color grade. I'm pretty sure that's just a standard Rec 709 shot. Really pretty. There were gorgeous sunsets, though, in Costa Rica. Yikes. I mean, I, I think this was already blown out in camera. I am i don't think the dynamic range of the Mavic 1 was stellar, but yeah. Nice rising shot. I don't know why I added that sound effect. Listen to that. Perhaps because it was the last shot, I thought that that would accent it. And then, of course, you have the <laughs> Sam Calder type text over, over top. And then a little racing sound, and I made sure to keyframe it so it went from left earphone to right earphone to match the visuals. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. But you start, you gotta start somewhere. And it, it's nice to look back on older videos of yours because you realize how much you've grown and are continuing to grow. So I enjoyed this. As embarrassing as it is, kind of is nostalgic in a way. And thank you. Thank you for, for watching. If you are disgusted as I am, let me know in the comments. Let me know how disgusted, one to 10. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Keep on creating.